This is the Samsung Gear VR with controller from 2017. All right, so Mobile World Congress has been and gone. The Samsung Galaxy S9 is coming soon. However, they did not uh, unveil a new version of the Gear VR, which makes the 2017 version still relevant. With prices tumbling, is it worth picking up one of these? I'm going to be trying it out with the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm sure amongst millions of other videos that have been released over the last year since this came out, uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the Gear VR and see what it's like before we do a full review. So this is a brand new retail unit we've just got in. Uh, and I'm, I'm quite excited that it's, it's somewhat unusual that uh, the new year comes and we don't have another upgraded version. And this, you can pick this up for about £50, whereas it's like £130 whenever it first came out. Uh, the box shows Gear VR with the controller as well, which is a, a newly revolutionised controller. And I believe that from previous Gear VRs, there isn't that much of a difference, maybe just a few connection differences with USB Type-C and mini micro USB even. Um, this power by Oculus, which actually looks a wee bit like a USB Type-C on there as well. That's what I initially thought it was, uh, until I read it and realised it wasn't. Uh, so, yep, uh, the box is fairly simple with uh, a plastic thing on top. And here we have the Gear VR in its box itself. Okay, so we have another little box. I feel like I'm rushing through this it. because I'm busting to get this on my head and do some stuff. Uh, we have a user manual and a warranty card. We have some straps for securing it to your noggin. We have a little lanyard type affair. We have a connector for... Well, it looks like a... Uh, well, it's a click and switch micro USB, so you can hook it up to the S6, I think, and, and below, or whatever happens to be compatible. Uh, there is our controller, which is quite dinky, with uh, clicky buttons, and I believe that's touchpad as well. Back, home, up, down, and a trigger there for shooting people. And there's an, another. Thing. Uh, piece of material for stabilizing it to your head. Right, so this is the Gear VR, the plastic thing. We have some fairly nice uh, soft material around here. Um, I've seen uh, plenty of cheap ones that have nasty stuff in here that are uh, fairly a fake leatherette or something like it becomes sweaty and stinky uh, over time but that should uh, should keep up with facial oils quite well and indeed it can be taken off and washed which is quite nice I don't know if I chuck it in the washing machine but uh, that's an idea we have these hooks here for attaching this to to secure it to your head I'll take off the plastic to get into it On this side we have the touch panel, which uh, I believe it's got a nibbin nubbin type thing in the middle there that, uh, for you to find it and you swipe around to be able to do stuff. We've got a home and a back button as well. I guess it works the same as this but for navigating menus and things, for setting things up and pairing. You're going to need this. Uh, under here we have a little gash here that looks like a USB type C charge port there. Uh, a place for your nose to go without any kind of padding or or the like so obviously this must sit far away enough from your nose another groove there nothing on this side just powered by oculus again and we have our lenses in here which uh, are i think adjustable by the actual unit itself or no sorry yes uh, on the top here we have the 
the lens adjustment I can feel that pushing this further out as we do that so it there's quite a bit of movement in it uh, for every type of person's ocular needs uh, there's another little um, pin up here for you to attach another strap to keep it secure on your head and deal with some of the lumber and then round the front we have a glossy plastic here uh, I believe this is how you open it that pulls off and then you've got you put your phone in and look at it right so that snaps in depending on what device you have I've heard some people recommend that you have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus because it's slightly bigger, but I don't see how that matters because these are still the same size. I have a Samsung Galaxy S or S8, <laughs> and we do have a case on here, so I'm going to try and put it in without removing the case, which would be nice, but we can't. Which we can't do. It was very simple just to throw in without the case, obviously. Um, that's a bit of a shame that you have to take the case off every single time. I think I heard it talking to me there. Uh, and that's on there, and I'm hoping that it automatically brings up... Use our fingerprint sensor. It did tell us a few things there. Um, we can use the fingerprint sensor, obviously, to activate the phone, but we need to install the various apps in order to get this working. But it actually looks kind of swish the way it is. And then we can put this on to... No, we don't. Uh, that just that actually fits in there uh, to keep things from damaging the innards. It's merely, merely a protector. So we will be using it like this. But obviously the camera is then exposed, which you can utilize the camera. So I need to get these things put on so that I can wrap it around my head. So we have little leather bat bits here and a stretchy, well, there's stretchiness there velcro on the back and then stretchiness there and then obviously this connects to that and this connects to that so we'll be we want this on the outside that way put that on like that and then bring this round like that We have her hooked up. And we need it tightened a bit more. So I suppose to hold it flush to the face, but then you want it to be balanced on each side. So I'm gonna put it to the max and then adjust it out, depending on tightness. Okay, so it is pretty tight, and I'd prefer that rather than having it fall off. And if we put, I'm guessing this one goes on the top, that would go on this sticky bit, bit of Velcro here. Would it not? And then that hooks onto this little doohickey here. Okay, so we've, we've got that set up. It's actually pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel like uh, it's going to really cause me much neck pain, but, uh, you know, after prolonged usage of using it for a couple of hours, uh, probably having some kind of counterbalance here, the same way as this, would keep it uh, all neatly even. We have another strap here. I'm guessing this lanyardy type thing goes on to the remote control, which requires batteries that we that don't come in the box. 
scratch that, they do come in the box, thankfully. But that's good news that uh, we get the batteries in the box. I went on a scavenging hunt yesterday to save me having to go up to the shop in the snow to get a set of AAA batteries. Um, however, we didn't have any. I could only find AAs. Then yesterday I went looking for AAs and couldn't find those and only found triple A's. Right, okay, so we've got a flashy light, which probably means it's wanting to pair. I need to go and install the software on this on the phone so that we can utilize it. And that's not for us to use now. And that's pretty much everything. I still haven't worked out where this goes, but uh, I'm sure the manual will tell us. So this is a controller holder that you're supposed to attach onto here and then put your controller in there like that. Which I'll do some other time. So I'm too excited to go and use this. Um, I'm going to leave you high and dry and um, well, uh, I'll catch you up later um, with some kind of review on techaddicts.uk. Let me know if you have any questions that you would like me to address in the review in the comments box below. Hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to us if you did and we'll love you forever. Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care.